Hello viewers welcome back. Pilots use visual and instrumental flying rules depending on the prevailing weather conditions during a flight. These are global benchmark rules formulated based on the rules of the air, and pilots of every airline must follow them in order to ensure passenger safety. This video will help you to know more about visual flight rules. VFR and IFR are two set of rules for airplane operations. A pilot must conduct flights following either of the set rules. What are visual flying rules? The visual flying rules are applicable when pilots decide to fly an aircraft based on what they see ahead. VFR in aviation is similar to driving a car in traffic, where you adjust your movements according to what you see. In aviation parlance, VFR means see and avoid. Pilots use this set of principles to fly an aircraft when meteorological conditions on their flying route are favorable. Usually, pilots follow VFR while flying single-engine small aircraft. VFR is not possible when a flight is going through thick clouds. Under these rules, pilots need to have a clear vision so as to avoid a mid-air collision. When pilots are following VFR, they tend to fly below the cloud cover or take a detour to avoid the same, which is not possible when the weather conditions are not favorable. The responsibility of terrain clearance remains with the pilot of VFR flight. VFR, VMC, are often mixed up, even by experienced pilots. Let us try to clear up the confusion. VFR is the type of flight operation or type of flight plan flown by the pilot. Operating an airplane in VFR means the pilot of the aircraft has excellent visibility outside the plane. The pilot has a clear view of the ground from the flight. The pilot is navigating the airplane with visual references outside the aircraft. The pilot is staying out of the clouds and bad weather. Whereas, VMC, refers to the type of weather conditions. Visual meteorological conditions, VMC, are the meteorological conditions expressed in terms of visibility, distance from cloud, and ceiling equal to or better than specified minima. When can you fly VFR? VFR comes with certain requirements. VFR flights should be able to see in front of and around his aircraft while in the air. The separation from other traffic and terrain clearance lies with the pilot in VFR. For this reason, VFR rules cover visibility requirements and cloud clearance criteria required to fly with visual reference to the ground and or horizon. These requirements vary depending on the type of airspace the aircraft is flying. These requirements are primarily to ensure that pilots flying VFR don't get caught up in the clouds and crash into each other. These conditions are called visual meteorological conditions. Let's learn more about the visual meteorological conditions. VMC includes the flight visibility and cloud clearance. It varies depending on the type of airspace the aircraft is flying. Class A airspace VFR flights are not permitted. This airspace is exclusive airspace for IFR flights. VMC, criteria for airspace classes B, C, D, E, F and G airspace. At an above 10,000 feet the flight visibility requirement is 8 km. Aircraft should be clear of cloud 1,000 feet vertically and 1,500 meter horizontally. Below 10,000 feet but above 3,000 feet above mean sea level or 1,000 feet above ground level. Flight visibility requirement is reduced to 5 km. Aircraft should be clear of cloud 1,000 feet vertically and 1,500 meter horizontally. At or below 3,000 feet above mean sea level or 1,000 feet above ground level, whichever higher. For airspace class F and G flight visibility requirement is 5 km. Aircraft should be clear of cloud and should have visual contact with surroundings. When you can operate VFR flights. VFR flights shall not be operated between 20 minutes after sunset to 20 minutes before sunrise, except when exempted by air traffic control. Local flights and training flights of flying club aircraft may be cleared by air traffic control and operated during night in visual meteorological conditions. Each person operating an aircraft under VFR in level cruising flight more than 3,000 feet above the surface shall maintain the appropriate altitude or flight level, unless otherwise authorized by ATC. 
on a magnetic course of 0 degrees through 179 degrees, any odd thousand foot MSL altitude plus 500 feet such as 3,500, 5,500, or 7,500 or on a magnetic course of 180 degrees through 359 degrees, any even thousand foot MSL altitude plus 500 feet such as 4,500, 6,500, or 8,500. Minimum Heights Internationally, a VFR pilot is required to stay more than 1,000 feet above any obstacles in a congested area or above any large collection of people. Over uncongested areas, VFR pilot must stay more than 500 feet above the ground. VFR Minimums VFR flights shall not take off or land at an aerodrome within a control zone or enter the aerodrome traffic zone or traffic pattern. When the ceiling is less than 1500 feet, or when the ground visibility is less than 5 km. Weather deterioration below, BMC. Pilot should request an amended clearance enabling the aircraft to continue in, BMC, to destination or to an alternate aerodrome, or to leave the airspace in which ATC clearance is required. If the flight is being operated in a control zone, request special VFR clearance. If the above measures are inappropriate, request an IFR clearance to continue. Suspension of Visual Flight Rules Operations Any or all VFR operations on and in the vicinity of an aerodrome may be suspended by the Approach Control Unit or the Appropriate Area Control Unit or by the Aerodrome Control Tower. All such suspensions of VFR operations shall be accomplished through or notified to the Aerodrome Control Tower. Actions by Aerodrome Control Tower when weather is below VFR minima. Suspension of visual flight rules operations. Hold all VFR departures. Recall all local flights operating under VFR or obtain approval for special VFR operations. Notify the approach control unit or area control unit as appropriate of the action taken. Notify all operators, or their designated representatives, of the reason for taking such action, if necessary or requested. What is Special VFR? Special VFR is VFR flight cleared by air traffic control to operate within a control zone in meteorological conditions below visual meteorological conditions. When traffic conditions permit, special VFR flights may be authorized subject to the approval of the unit providing approach control service and the following provisions. Requests for such authorization shall be handled individually. Separation shall be effected between all special VFR flights and between special VFR and IFR flights. When the ground visibility is not less than 1500 meters, special VFR flights may be authorized to Enter a control zone for the purpose of landing, take off and depart from a control zone, cross a control zone or operate locally within a control zone. Performance Class 1, Performance Class 2 and military helicopters may be authorized to operate special VFR flights when the ground visibility is not less than 1000 meter. What is, VMC, Climb and Descent? Controllers may authorize an aircraft to climb or descend in, VMC, provided. The maneuver is restricted to Class D and E airspace that are below flight level 100. It is during the hours of daylight. The aircraft is flying in visual meteorological conditions. The pilot of the aircraft climbing or descending agrees to maintain his own separation from other aircraft and the maneuver is agreed by the pilot of the other aircraft, and essential traffic information is given. Which is better, VFR or IFR? Both these sets of rules have their own advantages and suitability. When meteorological conditions are favorable, that is, there is clear visibility, pilots prefer visual flying rules. On the other hand, when an aircraft has to fly through turbulent weather in newer areas and long cross-country routes, instrument-based flying rules are a more viable option. As seen from our discussion, these two flying rules have their own effectiveness and importance according to different weather conditions. To know more about instrument flying rules stay tuned for our next video.
Thank <laughs> you.